guys. So we not fighting no small battle. You feel what I'm saying? Like, some of our people will never wake up. Like, it ain't going to come in this lifetime. They got to... They're going to have to leave and come back a few more lifetimes and have, go have a few more lifetimes somewhere else before they finally get it. And that's okay because every soul has its simple energy. Y'all can't waste it trying to go get those who don't understand. It's a lot of our people that don't, right? But it's a shift. It's a cosmic shift. So understanding that you are a multidimensional being, you got to stay in that fashion. That's just like, at no time, whether I'm sitting here talking with y'all on the round table, or I'm giving a lecture on YouTube, or I'm giving a lecture on my website, or I got to step out and go somewhere, am I not aware of that? You feel me? Like, being aware in itself is magic. If you're truly aware. Not just drifting day to day. Like, really moving with intent. You know what I'm saying? Really integrating your enlightenment. Because it's a great awakening we all going through right now. We all, we all, it's so many downloads pouring onto the planet right now. We feeding off one another. We feeding off each other. We feeding in different ways. This is the way the cosmic forces want it. This is the way the ancestors want it. This is a, this is all energy. You know what I'm saying? This is a bigger spell at play. This this is why we are rising. It, it, this is why Kai has she has woken up. It is it, 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 it's, it's 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 magic on both sides. It's all magic. It's magic on both sides. You get what I'm saying? It's magic on both sides. But you got to remember that you're a spiritual entity. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't you can't stay you can't stay laced. You know, you can't stay laced in that little shoe of 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 or of of or of of, 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 per, of perception. That's the best word I can give for it, because like I say, we come from talking telepathy. We got to get back to that. We communicated originally telepathy. We don't we didn't use words. It's conversations that I can only have with you telepathically. You know what I'm saying? It's just energy. You feel me? It's not words for all information. There is different levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? But and they do that. They know that. They use sound. They use every sound that they use strategically. When you watch a commercial, when you see an advertisement, when you see the colors they they use, even them shifting their name to Meta. You know what I'm saying? And it's they shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they call us the Meta, the Meta humans though. You see what I'm saying? That's how they got us documented in their medical files you feel me like it's a, we a different species we a whole different species a whole different something you feel me like this not eat the being shit is real it's not just something that people are saying it's a real thing you connect it to the entire planet just you you know what i'm saying you good you connect it you tarzan you see what i'm saying you tarzan we tarzan dr doolittle that's that shit all real you feel me? Like it's all real. It's a whole. It's been a whole fight to keep you away from what you are at your core. You know what I'm saying? It's been a whole fight. You know the colors they use around us every day. That's why when you start getting on the colors, you start getting deep into just remembering more. Keyword: remember, because we're not learning anything. The soul knows all truths. Your soul was bleached at birth when you landed here. When you landed here, the moment upon your inception, upon this, into this realm, into this, when you incarnated here. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of us forget that we were somewhere else before we came here. I always tell you that. Like, we were somewhere else. You were something else before you got here. You don't remember that, though. You just remember the now. But you've been, you been in existence before you got to this now moment that we are sharing right now. You get what I'm saying? Before before you, you got to this now moment that me and you, I and I are sharing right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause me is the soul, I is the ego. I, I me is the ego. I mean, I is the soul. So that you, that I and I are sharing right now, right? Cause you my reflection, and I'm yours. Before you got to this now moment that I and I are sharing right now, you were somewhere else. So you got to stay in that 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 energy. You are, you know what I'm saying. You got to stay in that energy to realize 
what they are doing us on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? And how we gotta how we gotta shift the balance. That's like look at look at music. Look what they done to music. Why think I'm making my music like I'm making it? You see what I'm saying? Come in. Well, okay, we're gonna take it back to real hip hop. You're gonna hear these messages. You're gonna hear these instruments, this high frequency that when you hear this you hear this music, these instruments, your soul, your soul gonna feel good. Yeah, we know we giving these lectures and everybody listening, but it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers that ain't listening. But you're going to listen to this music, though. So now you want to know what, what Kundalini energy means. You might not even know. You know what I'm saying? But it just sound good when you first heard it. So now you like, damn. Now you like it. Now it's playing on your conscience. Now you're like, I fuck with this. Now you like, okay, what is Kundalini? Now you go look it up. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's, it's like we got to all find ways right now to help shift the collective consciousness with pure intent. You see what I'm saying? It's the intent behind what you do that is what's numbered, is what is what's countered against us. This is why it's like, even though when I give y'all the history of the human beings and the difference between human beings and us, the God species, I'm not still saying that from like a racist standpoint, though. Like when I put the passion into it when I'm lecturing, that's because that's how I feel in my soul. Like that's what it is. But at the same time, it's science, though, for, for all to be enlightened, even the human beings, because they've been lied to. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, because it's about vibration right now, like the Galactic Council of Light, and then you got, you know, the, the original Anunnaki gods, the ancient ones, you got all these extraterrestrial forces that's in play right now. And then you got all of these treaties and truces. Or like I've been telling y'all, there's over 200 galaxies involved in this war. This war is still going on around us. You feel me? The way they still playing with the, playing with the, with the, with the sky and, and, and how they are, are 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 hiding cloaking certain objects that's all real when you when you hear people talking about that on the internet that's all real that's all still in full play it's drones going around now people don't even see flying around because they cloaked they were showing you that on they live that's all real you feel me like this is why you got to have your third eye open you know what i'm saying the spiritual and had that spiritual calling them spiritual families because they working on our behalf, but you got to call them in. Even the angelic realms, even in so many different angelic realms, you know what I'm saying? Because we've been lied to about everything. So they made us think it was just angels, man. You got so many different type of, it's so many different type of powerful beings in the angelic realms. It's so many ranks, you know what I'm saying? Angelic, it's so many. You know what I'm saying? Guardian angels, archangels, you got regular angels. You know what I'm saying? You got trickster angels, you feel me? You got, you got cherubim, you got seraphim, you got cherubims. You know what I'm saying? You got all different type of hierarchies of the angelic realms that you can call in. This is spiritual warfare. You know what I'm saying? On top of meditating with your crystals, on top of, you know, enlightening yourselves, on top of that's why it's like they hid all this because when you in this physical state, this is density. This is density right now that you're in. So when you're tra so remember though you are although you are trapped in density right now, from an esoteric standpoint, you are still spirit and soul, electricity and magnetism. So while in this density, you control everything around you. You see, what I'm everything around you, you literally control. It's not in nobody else's hands or anything. You literally control that because you are electricity and magnetism at all times. At all times, like, so you're going to attract things to you. You're going to you're going to joke things away. Right. You, you're going to shock things yourself. You're going to shock like electricity, like a live wire. Why do you think somebody that's like when they got high head, they call them a live wire. Like you're not even understanding. Like you're literally that even when even people with short fuses and tempers or, or when you get in that moment where you, you know, everything that you putting out is electricity. But you or imagine a big ass mag a big ass magnet full of electricity. You know what I'm saying? That's what you are. So that's what that's what that's what that's what you gotta remember that you are. You can't be fooled by the density. You can't get fooled by the density. You gotta respect the carbon. You gotta respect the neuromelanin because then that allows you to see who your who your cosmic family is around you. Like, oh, okay. Now they got the same genetics I got. That's my cosmic family, whether they know that or not. But just because you're my cosmic family also doesn't mean that I'm going a, I'm to a lower my guard on you because you can be my cosmic family with this. We got the same genetics. But if your vibration isn't right, 
You're not, you'll not. still try to harm me for no reason. You'll try to rob me. You'll try to kill me. You'll try to go rob somebody or hurt somebody. You'll do something that's detrimental to the species because you don't remember who you are. The reason I know is because I have been. I was him before. I was that person that didn't remember fully who I was before. And I did things that was detrimental to the growth of the, and growth and development of the species. You feel me? Like, like that's, that's real. You know what I'm saying? We've all been in that state. But this is why, and to acknowledge it increases your frequency because, you know, you're being throat chakra, you're being honest, you're being, you know what I'm saying? You're not moving off, worrying about the judgment of the matrix. You know what I'm saying? You got to be outside of that shit. Like, you can't really care what nobody think about you. You can't really care because people going to always say what they're going to say, right? You're not going to make everybody happy. And this goes for the people you're around, your family, your friends. Like, you can't get caught up in that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's going to stop you from vibrating and shifting and affecting the collective conscious because there's things you need to do, but you're not going to do them because you're, you're going to get caught up in everybody else's energy around you because you give a fuck. And then you're going to blame everybody around you when shit don't go right in your life because you was focused on everybody around you. You know what I'm saying? I done been him before too, where shit wasn't going right and then I wanted to blame everybody around me. And you gotta take full responsibility for everything that takes place in your life. Anything that come your way bad is because you sent out a negative energy at some point, whether you was aware of it or not. So that energy came back. Anything go good in our lives is because we send out good energy and it came back. It's it's just that simple. Ain't no good days, ain't no motherfucking bad days, ain't no good luck, ain't no motherfucking bad luck. That's all to take your power away because like I know that with myself. Anytime some negative come against me, it don't matter if I'm innocent or not. Even if I know I'm innocent, like yeah, I'm innocent, okay, boom. But at the same time, if some negative comes against me, right? When I wasn't able to pay bills before, when I had to sleep in my car, when I got locked up, when people like I mean, anytime in my life when people mistreated me, right? Anytime in my life where I went through something that was that I didn't consider a moment of happiness or a better time in, that I've experienced in this reality, I used to always try to blame everybody else for that. And that's what most people do. They'll try to blame, and that's low vibrational. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're doing that, you're not you're not taking your responsibility as the God of your reality, as the creator of your reality. This is what makes you God. This is what makes you because you're the creator of your reality. It's not no events. It's not no hit in power, nowhere that's controlling shit. You feel me? Like, you are the being. You get what I'm saying? This is why they took the shift off you. They made you pray outside of yourself. You got Jesus to thank for that. Jesus, Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Zeus, thank him for that. You feel me? Because that's what he did. He tricked us to do the same. He's a deceiver. He's the father of lies. So all of that, even the whole idea and concept, the ideology of us praying to anything outside of ourselves is to completely to that redirect the attention off of self, off of what you are. So then you you stay stuck in a lowest of vibrations because you have yet to understand that you're that powerful, that you control the good and the bad that come your way. Higher self, lower self. That's a real thing. Higher self, lower self. Until you take full responsibility, you you can't even walk into your full power. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know, that's why you gotta take that responsibility and be like, all right, well, shit, I, if something went wrong, it's because I thought wrong. I sent negative energy out at some point, and with the energy you send out, it has to come back. That's just basic. That's just basic physics. Now, you know what I'm saying? That's just basic physics. So, I say that to say, like, while being here on this, on this, on this, on this plane, right? Right on, on while we're while we're on this on that on Atlantis, that's where we at. You got eight other realms of ex in existence on this planet, and we're in the middle. We on Atlantis, but it's still a lot of work that has to be done in this great awakening. Like we we're going to keep awakening, but we can't get stagnant neither. We can't get we can't get the feeling like uh we we won. Like we ain't. You know, we ain't one, we ain't one shit. You feel me? We got to still, we got to still stay like locked all the way into ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like from the point of understanding that anytime you moving in a, in a, in a, in a spiritual warfare is strategic and they moving strategic, you know, even how they trying to say the numbers going down on, on, on the COVID shit. You feel me? Like. 
You know what I'm saying? Then they just to turn around and spike them back up on the hot sauce. Like, you got people that's still out here caught up in that. You got people that's going to celebrate Black History Month this month. You know what I'm saying? And Valentine's Day next week. They going to go celebrate it because they don't understand. You feel me? They don't understand energy. You know? They don't understand energy and, and, and the donation of it. You know what I'm saying? If you donate it to a good cause, that's a great thing. But... A lot of these holidays, you know, we know what they are. You feel me? You know, they are energetic traps to control the frequency. That's all they're doing. They're controlling the frequency. You know what I'm saying? Because when they put out the balloons and they, you know, with how you start feeling, right? You start getting all warm inside and shit. Now you want to go, you feel me? Now you in the mood, you know, you hoping he buy you some chocolates this day. You ain't never gave a fuck about no chocolates. No other day. No other day, you ain't never thought about no chocolates ever. You you cool. You don't even eat chocolate like that. But all of a sudden, motherfucker, you walk in the store one day, shit. You didn't forget it's February. You going through so much shit in your life. You walk in the store one day, all of a sudden, you balloons and shit, pink and red. You see little teddy bears. You, oh, yeah, damn, it is. It is Valentine's Day. I hope he give me some chocolates and... You don't even eat chocolates no other time, though. You feel me? You know you don't. You feel me now? If you eat chocolates, that's different. But even the motherfuckers that eat chocolate, they eating chocolate. Do you feel me? Because it's the difference between eating chocolate and eating chocolates. You get what I'm saying? Y'all know what the chocolates is. They come, they be having all you bite in them. They got all type of flavors. Them little motherfuckers be good, too. They come in a little heart box. You mm, bust the box down. Mm, what's this? Mm, what's this? Mm, what's this? What's the, those are chocolates. Niggas is not eating chocolates on a daily basis. No, you not. Because they don't even sell them nowhere like that. They only pop out then. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't think about that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's frequency. You, you, why do all of a sudden you got this feeling? Even the gods, you ain't never wanted to spend no time with her. I could see if you was me. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a sucker for love. When I love you, yep, I'm gonna be up under you. I'm gonna love on you all day. I'm him. You feel me? You feel me? You gonna love me back? Or I ain't gonna be around. You ain't gonna be around me. You feel me? I'm gonna give me somebody that's gonna love me back. That's why I might be my wife. Like I'm him. If I love you, we gonna be in love. If we loving, we loving. Ain't no, you know. I got. I'm going. I'm in there. You feel me? I'm talking to the guys that know you don't be on no cuddling shit. You know I me? Mean? I'll be cuddling. I be cuddling, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I be cuddling. You know, cause some of the guys don't want to admit it. They be, I be cut. I'm a cuddler, nigga. You better know I'm cut. I'm cuddling with her. You feel me? I'm fighting the world. Why I want to be around her and not cuddle? I'm already fighting the world every day on every level. You, I mean, you should feel the same, guy. You fighting the world too. That ain't just me. We in this shit together, nigga. I'm just in the eye of the public, nigga. You doing? You going through the same struggle? We got the same genetics. You see what I'm saying? So when I get around her, we better be affectionate. You feel me? I ain't get around, get from around me then. I'm, I could chill with the guys. I could chill with the guys. You know what I'm saying? If I'm around you, I'm, we cuddled up. Joe put something on. You feel me? We chilling. You feel me? Like, we cuddy, cuddied up. You feel me? So it's like, you ain't never want to cuddle though, God. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I know guys like that. I know how it be. You know, you ain't ran across that one or that one hurt you. So after she hurt you, you was like, fuck the rest. And you been cut the whatever since. Do you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. I ain't judging you, God. But I'm saying, think about when, when Valentine's Day rolled around. That ain't how you feel. You don't feel like that no more. You get all warm inside. Now you want to chill with her. Yes, you do. You didn't got you. You didn't book the spot. You didn't, ooh, niggas didn't work overtime. Niggas either working overtime or niggas is hustling more on the block to get that extra little bread just to spend that whole night. If he don't spend no other night with you, you know he with you on Valentine's Day. That's why when ain't nobody with you on Valentine's Day, even when y'all try to act like they not like you don't give a fuck, it shows because you'll be the first one posting about how you don't give a fuck. So we know that you give a fuck because you're posting about how you don't give a fuck that you ain't got no Valentine. You know, shit like that. You feel me? Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like, you know, all because motherfucker put some balloons up. Who the fuck was he anyway? You know what I'm saying? Like, we never asked ourselves, like, Valentine's Day. 
Like, why is the heart? Why is the heart? Like, I said this before last year. I'm going to say it every year. Every year, I'm going to be on the same shit. Every year. You feel me? For the niggas who ain't here last year. You feel me? <laughs> Listen, man. The heart shape. A heart isn't even shaped like that, man. You ever thought about that? Did you ever be like, damn, on Valentine's Day, we be gay having these little heart boxes and we eat, we feed each other chocolates and everything. But why is the heart shaped like this? Because our heart isn't shaped like that heart. A real heart isn't shaped like that, for one. So what the fuck are we doing? What are we with? What's really to these hearts? You feel me? Because the real heart ain't shaped like that. You feel me? It ain't even shaped like that. You see what I'm saying? So we got we got to ask questions, y'all. You feel me? We got to get the we got to start asking questions like that. Like, hold on. My heart isn't shaped doesn't like the one that's drawn. So why the fuck is we what the fuck? Hold on. What is this? This ain't no heart. A heart don't even look like that. So what the fuck is this? You feel me? And then it started making sense. You get what I'm saying? Oh, okay. You know, sex energy, sex magic. You see what I'm saying? Sex energy. And one of the most powerful energies, the sacral chakra energy. You know what I'm saying? Sacral chakra energy. You know, that's why semen retention is so powerful, you know? Because when you were able to harness your energy, you know, hunt save your energy, you know what I'm saying? You know, so they they really just showing you the 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 outline of the vagina right it's to get you to focus on focus on it from a a perverted sexual way right and you know we already know what was the saint valentine you see what i'm saying you know he was a wild boy you see what i'm saying he was a wild boy you know what I'm saying? He was a wild boy. I mean, we just got to keep it real over rich about him. You see what I'm saying? He was a wild boy. St. Valentine, he was a wild boy. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you go do, if you go look into him, you know what I'm saying? You'll see that he, he, he had slaves, of course. You know, he had his own, of course he had slaves, but, you know, he was, he was into a lot of heinous, heinous acts, you know, heinous, Heinous sexual acts, like he was into like pedophilia, you know, having sex with little boys. He was into that, you know. They was into bondage and raping, and you know all that. They was into. He was into all of that. You feel me? Like, and he was a a stone cold killer. You know what I'm saying? He was a stone cold killer. Like, if we're gonna celebrate Saint Valentine's, we might as well celebrate. John Wayne Gacy. Shit, we might as well celebrate Jeffrey Dahmer, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? We wouldn't do that, would we? No, we wouldn't. You'd be like, who? Right, that's one of them. And for the shorties, the, the blue crystal babies that don't know, y'all can Google Jeffrey Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy. They like some of the America's most worst serial killers ever. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, like 35, like John Wayne Gacy. I think they found like 35, 40 bodies buried under his house and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Jeffrey Dahmer, he was eating his victims. They came to his crib, found all type of heads and toes and legs and feet. You know what I'm saying? Real life, these real life serial killers, right? We wouldn't sit there and, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Jeffrey Dahmer day coming up and now we passing out hearts that ain't even hearts. You feel me? Like we wouldn't even do all that. No, we wouldn't. That would sound crazy. That would sound crazy. And that's really how we sound celebrating St. Valentine because it's the same it's the same, it's the same energy, you know what I'm saying? It's the same energy of of you with them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Only difference is they put a saint in front of of of, of his of in front of his motherfucking name. They drop the goddamn it, the first name off and, and, and hit you with the Saint Saint Valentine. You feel me, but like, you know, it's energy. It's energy, you feel me? And then look, people gonna do the same thing. With Black History Month. With Black History Month. You feel me? They gonna do the same thing with Black History Month again. Like I just told them, told that, like, listen, you can't, we are nine ether beings, man. 
You can't sum us up in no 28 days, nigga. You feel me? First off, first off, anyway, anyway, though. Nah, anyway, though, like that shit disrespectful in itself, like Black History Month. Nigga, what? Month. Month? 30 of your man-made days? Month? Are you serious right now? You feel me? Black History Month? Man, listen, man. That shit's so disrespectful in itself. Do you hear the title? Black, first off, black. Let's remember why they even called us black to degrade us. It was a derogatory misnomer to degrade us. Period. Period. Black African American is new. That's 80s. That's Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, uh, uh, not Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, Glad you said his name. That's um, Jesse Jackson. You feel me? But let's remember why they, why they called us black in the first place. You know what I'm saying? We not black. Nigga, we can use it to try to just, you know, when, when when I use black, it's to try to reach for more minds to go rescue more minds that don't know, that don't know, like, because everybody, if you never heard of God or goddess, you know, you, I, I, it's peace out of gods and goddesses. Motherfuckers just walking in the class don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, peace out of gods and goddesses, right? You know what I'm saying? They don't know, like, oh, okay, well, all black and Latino people are gods and goddesses, then they are gods because they are this, 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 and this, and this, and this. They don't know all that. You know, they we they was, they was still think that Jesus is God. So nigga walk in class, you feel me? But black, you know what I'm saying? Like, I only use it at times to try to reach more minds, you feel me? Other than that, it's God, God, it's Atlantean. I will call your ass Cherokee, Lemurian, Atlantean, motherfucking goddamn it, uh, uh, Apache, Suat. Navajo, California, motherfucking red foot, black foot, nigga. You hear me, nigga? I will call you all of that before I call you black. You feel me? Like, nah, hell nah. That's the one of the worstest things they could have called us because they tried to, they tried to play, they tried to play on it. If you go look at how, if you go look at, everybody should know this by now. If you go look up black, 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 it's it's, it's bad. It's, it's black. It's bad. Anything next to it is. Black magic, bad. Black mail, black, bad. You know what I'm saying? Black Friday, right? Like, <clears throat> black out, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Anytime they're using black, you know what I'm saying? It's to describe something, you know what I'm saying? That's um um that that's bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good thing. Like, you got to look at how they programmed this. So, and, and with white, it's different. You know, white magic, you know, white collared crime. You feel me? Like, shit like that. You know, you guys, how they using the words, you know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that that's a spell in itself. When you be like, I'm a black, you're not really, you're really not a black person. You, you're color, you're, you're color. You're definitely a lot of different colors. You're definitely more colored than a motherfucker. Yes, you are. You the whole motherfucking rainbow. You definitely colored people. We'll be, I, nigga, we color like a motherfucker, but black, you know what I'm saying? You know, the way that's being used, you know, definitely on, even on a scientifically, like to describe sort of like death and, and, and. And they got white meaning like it's purity, you know. So, yeah, we really not black people. You know what I'm saying? We really not black people at all. So if you understand that in itself, you'll be like, damn, okay, black history. And then you say month. So And then you give them up for the shortest month. You know what I'm saying? The shortest month of, of your man-made months. You know what I'm saying? We get the shortest month. You know what I'm saying? And then you get up in there and then you, you dive into it. Let's dive into it. So what we hear, we talking about Black History Month. We ain't talking about what we know, what we taught ourselves outside of Black History. What we, what we had to go remember. We talking about what the fuck they would say during this particular time every year. You know what I'm saying? While I've been down here, you know what I'm saying? They be like, you gonna see a lot of George Washington Carver, peanut shit. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get to seeing Madam C J Walker. Hot comb, you know what I'm saying? Let's not forget the hot comb was used to take us away from nature. We ain't got to straighten out shit. This where we nine ethers, you feel me? We ain't, this how it come, if we strong. You feel me? Our ether grow up, our ether grow up to the universe, man. You feel me? This personifies your aura, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like this real metrics to you, you know what I'm saying? And she, and look what they give us, they... <laughs> The hot comb, the more straighten it out to try to get it to look like them. You feel me? You give us that. 
Who else? What, what else y'all give us? Y'all give us um uh 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 what's his name? Dusable. Y'all give us Booker T. Washington. You feel me? Shit like that. Sojourner Truth. You feel me? We get a we might barely get a dose of Malcolm in Black History Month. We ain't get no Malcolm. We might get a picture. We ain't get no Malcolm really. You feel me? Martin Luther King does the death, though. You hear me? His day was popping always. You feel me? And that ain't, ain't nothing against MLK. You know, I appreciate what he did, but I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. You know what I'm saying? He was a lot more passive to the retorts, the resistance. You feel what I'm saying? You know, they can keep you there. They want you there. You feel me? You're going to take these ass whippings, nigga, and you're going to enjoy them. You feel me? That's that's what they want us at. That's what they always wanted us at. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, I'm just keeping it real. You don't get no Marcus Garvey. You feel me? You ain't getting none of that. You ain't getting no Marcus Garvey in school. No, you ain't. What? No, you ain't. You ain't getting none of that. You feel me? You ain't getting none of that. You feel me? And that's just on a small level, though. That's on a small level, though. You feel what I'm saying? That's on a small level. Nigga, they ain't finna go into no Gabriel Prostituta. They ain't finna go into no Denmark Vesey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they ain't finna go into no none of that. They ain't going into no Tucson. They not finna go into no Shaka Zulu. They ain't finna go into no Nat Turner. They ain't finna none of that. You feel me? They ain't finna go into no Tupac Amaru. You feel me? Lead of the Incas. They ain't finna go into none of that. You see what I'm saying? They ain't finna go into nothing with no Gullah Wars, no motherfucking Cherokee, no Seminoles, nigga. You feel me? No Illinois Confederacy. None of it. You feel me? None of it. You see what I'm saying? They ain't no you ain't get none of that. You ain't getting none of that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting nothing about no we off the planet, none of that shit. You've been here the whole time. You came from Africa. You getting that. You getting that. You see what I'm saying? So it's like when you when you think about what they give you in there, and then they give you them the shortest days of their month, you know. We created everything. How can you how can you how can you disrespect Literally, the hand that created you. You know what I'm saying? You know, the hands that created you, though. You feel me? We reverse engineered them. You feel me? Like, you know, limit limit us, you know, to to this, this, this small function of lies. You feel me? Like, Fuck, we don't, listen, man, we don't care nothing about no, because don't limit us to no peanuts. Like, all we did was niggas made, came along, we made peanuts. You know what I'm saying? We we might have created, a, helped create the light. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, don't red light green. Uh, none of that red light green light bullshit. None of that, you feel me? Nah, that's how they try to do us, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, you know, y'all, you know, y'all had a hand in this, and you had a little smidget in there, and you did a little bit of that, and the rest of that was us. Like, what? And whole time, we did everything. You feel me? Everything. Like, literally everything. You feel me? The only thing they ever had that they used against us was the spell work and, and, and getting a hold of a certain technology that we had. That's it. That's it. That's it. It ain't been nothing else. It ain't been no work done. Autumn, 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 autumn trail, autumn train tracks. You see, when you see, even when you see the when, when the frequency, when we was falling in frequency, you feel me? And they was gaining their ground. They still ain't put the work in. It was us creating all of that. All the railroads that got, that originally got things across the country back and forth. That's how original travel started. That's how that originally started. You feel me? Before they was, you know what I'm saying? It was the trains. Pay attention when you ride into your city. You're going to see old train tracks all around you. You never thought about it, though. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah, everything coming on train. You feel me? Everything coming on train. You feel me? Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? Definitely free Larry. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything coming on. You feel me? Everything coming on. 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 Um. Shout out to my little brother, Flo Malcolm. What it do, God? But yeah, everything coming on 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 tracks. You feel me? Everything coming on trains. It's, it's old tracks all around you. You feel me? All around us. You get what I'm saying? So it's like they. It's like who you think built that? We did that. That was us building them train track on them train tracks. You feel me? That I've been working on the railroad. Yeah, that's an old. That's an old Negro spiritual. 
that, that was started by us because we was them niggas that had been working on the motherfucking railroad. You get what I'm saying? I'm just saying you got to really sit and think and think about this shit. You got to think about it like, damn, hold on. The whole infrastructure of the country was built on our backs, man. You feel me? And this, even though this our shit, so we built our own shit, fell in frequency. They took it from us. Then we start helping them build their shit. Because, listen, we connected to the soil, man. They need us. They can't do it without us because of the energy. You feel me? The energy that we put out. The energy that we put out. You feel me? We put out a lot of energy. We put out a lot of energy. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's it's physics. It's quantum physics. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep reiterating. You are the soul. You are the spirit. That's electricity and magnetism. You feel me? That's electricity and and magnetism. So that's the power. And then the rest of the power is in the soil, is in Kai herself. And we connected to her. So you got to remember, like, if we have a genetic connection to the planet. So if they get, if they could get us to do it, then the planet falls in line. And that's how it went. You know what I'm saying? They can get us to do it, then the planet falls in line. That's why it's the only reason why they need people to go to work. They don't need your money. I keep telling you that they don't make you work because they need money. You think they need you to work to sell anything? They took everything. Look, 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 look. Think about it like this. If they took everything, do you really think they need niggas to work? They print the money. They print the money. They print the money. So you got to ask yourself, do you think, why, why are people working? They don't need you to work. I'm talking about, think about it from a corporation. The people that run the big corporations, they need workers, right? They hire employees, right? Yes, they do. And all these big people that own these companies, these create the jobs that motherfuckers work today, right? Okay, so now, ask yourself this. Why do they need you to work? They Oh, they took everything from us. They got everything. The land and the plants, the resources, that's the wealth, right? They just printing money. Money ain't got no wealth. It ain't got no worth. Go read their constitution. Go read it. You can't pay off no debts without nothing other than gold. That's in their constitution, man. So even in their mon mon monetary system, right, when they was printing up the paper, technically you still in debt. If you even want to play it by their game, right? That's people don't go read. Don't go read it. You go read it. You tell me what it say. Because I read it. I know that you can't pay for nothing other than with gold. 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 So why is they printing this paper and be giving it back and forth? Right. And on top of that, why do they got you working? He already, the, the, the oppressor took everything already. He can't never get the knowledge because all the knowledge is still within us. Don't ever get that misconstrued. This shit is still in our genes now. They need us too now. They can't do none of this shit without us. You see what I'm saying? We the golden recipe. We the golden key. But at the end of the day, ask yourself this. Why do he have you working as if he need to make a dollar? We talking about him. We know why you working because you do need that dollar. But why do he got you working though as if he need to earn his, like he need to make a dollar. You got to work because you got to pay a motherfucker. And that motherfucker got to work because they got to pay a motherfucker. I'm talking about the motherfuckers at the top that own this shit. That own these big Fortune 500 companies. That own the World Bank. Who they got to pay? See, we be paying taxes, right? We got we, we got to pay the government. Okay, that's cool. We pay state taxes. We pay and we pay them, right? Okay, cool. Now, who does the government got to pay? See what I'm saying? Who they paying? Who they got to pay? Because somebody got to pay somebody, right? They got to pay the royals. Well, they got to pay the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve got to pay the royals. But look, let's go deeper. Who do the royals have to pay? You paying state and federal taxes. We pay we pay taxes. Okay, we just asking questions. Now, who do we pay our taxes to the state, right? Who pay them to the USA? So who does who the do US pay? Who the USA pay? Who they gotta pay? 
Who they got to pay? They can pay it to the Federal Reserve, right? World Bank, right? Now, who the, now who they got to pay? The people that own the World Bank. They got to pay the Royals. I'm going to help you out. Now, who do the Royals got to pay? We're just cordial, colored, concerned citizens. Yep, asking questions for a friend. Per, per usual. Who do the British Royals got to pay? Who they got to pay? Nobody. You know why? Because the people that's, that's above them, it's the shadow government. that And your cabal, shadow government, deep state. And them motherfuckers is reptilians and Pleiadians. That's, they, they are an extraterrestrial race. It gets no higher in a in this form than the, than the British royals. The next step up is the shadow government or the cabal or the deep state as everybody call them. And they are reptilians and Pleiadians. They are a whole different race of beings. So the royals ain't got to pay nobody. The, the people at the head of, of the top of the 13 families, they ain't got to pay nobody. So ask yourself this. If they ain't got to pay nobody and they already took everything, why the fuck do they hire employees? They drain you of your energy, your life force. That's the only thing that they want. Because when you go work your job, that's what you give in. That's what you got to give. You, I know I didn't had a job before. You're giving life force. You're giving your, your life force, your energy. People give years to their job. So they only got you working jobs to keep you busy, to drain you of energy and life force. It's the energy and life force that they drain you of. And while they drain you of that energy and life force, they also stopping you from doing what you're supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? Which is affect the planet. You can't help the planet. How the fuck are you going to be working on your meditations and tapping in with the planet? And you got to be at work all day, every day. You see how that go? For real. And at the work you at, you only working because you got to pay bills. If you ain't have to pay bills, you wouldn't even work. And you got to pay bills on land that's, that, that your ancestors, this is your land. Because you are the ancestors. So you can say the ancestors or you can say you. Anywhere go, this is your land. So you got to pay to live on your land. We got to pay to live on our land. You see what I'm saying? And they only going to make you work because they want the energy. But you working to pay to live on the land. Other than that, you see what I'm saying? Other than that, you wouldn't be going to work. You would be doing what you love to do. You see how that works? You would be doing what comes natural. Everybody got something that comes natural. That you just natural. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And I bet you, I bet you, whatever come natural to you, good at it too. People been telling you, you just your whole life. You know, you know, people be knowing what they good at and what comes natural. But if you're not making no money off it, you're going to go do something different so that you can survive. But what comes natural is what you're supposed to do. Because remember, we it's about nature. Natural is an esoteric word. It has esoteric energy tied to it. Very ancient energy tied to that word that they now call natural because nature has been nature forever. So this is why you're supposed to be natural. Because that aligns spiritually and energetically with nature's frequency. To be natural is to be in nature. Nature isn't just going outside. Nature is being natural. You know why nature is so beautiful? Because it's natural. If you ever see nature, you're like, nature so beautiful. You ever been out of nature? It is. Because it's natural. You see? So, to be your natural self is to align with nature. This is why you're supposed to accept the way you are and 
in everything about you. It's, it's perfectly asymmetrically designed that way. No mistakes was made. You're just confused because that's what Zeus did with his spells. Confused. He's the father of confusion. If some shit ever confuses you, that's how you know Zeus got his hands in it. You know when Satan got his hands involved because the shit gonna confuse you. He's the father of confusion. That's what he do. That's what he did with us. He caused so much confusion and chaos. Tricked all type of good guys to fall in frequency with him. We still whip they ass, though. But I'm just saying, though. You feel me? I'm just saying, though. That's what he did. You feel me? And that war broke out. Yeah, that's what he did. You feel me? So, you got to know that. You know what I'm saying? It's It's all spiritually aligned. All of it. Spiritual thing. You feel me? It's a spiritual thing. And a lot of us hearing the word, but we you got to get deeper within and really fully understand when you're one with that, with that spiritual journey. You know, when you really own it, you know? 